Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're doing a quick eyeshadow review roundup. Over the past several weeks, I bought five different eyeshadow palettes from five different brands, and I thought we could compare them. But before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. The first palette that I got here is from Tom Ford and this is part of their holiday winter release. It's the Soleil Neige. And this quad here is called 01 Lumière d'hiver, so winter lights. And this one here is beautiful. When you see it in the palette, it kind of looks like this matte brown color here it might be warm, but it's actually very cool and it's very, very beautiful. This one is limited edition for the holiday release. So you get two mattes and two beautiful shimmer colors. It's interesting the color combination because when you mix both of the lighter mattes, the dark brown starts to lean towards cool and so you can achieve this beautiful frosted cool eyeshadow look which is so beautiful not only for winter times having like a silvery cool toned eye look but also you know in the eyeshadow market we really haven't seen that many cool toned shadows in a long time so this one here is really beautiful and for me what uh, made me make the purchase. I went in store and sort of, you know, got wooed by all the products, but it was really the beautiful satin shimmery colors. They're so pretty, so pigmented. The two mattes feel like classic Tom Ford. They, they apply really well. They blend very easily, but when you touch them, they feel a little bit dry, just not quite as buttery as the more sparkly colors, but blending them together working them together it's really nice and i would say that this palette is pretty user friendly the color like the color story is very simple it's very straightforward we're not seeing anything crazy mixed together so it's, it's a really great palette for the holiday season just period point blank for tom ford i think it's wonderful next up is a palette from prada beauty so this is not limited edition not holiday this is just part of the regular programming for Prada. This is the Dimensions Eyeshadow Palette 02, and that is this one here. And this one here is very different, it deviates. All Prada Beauty eyeshadow palettes really do deviate. So it's a quad, but three of the colors, three of the shades are very classic shades you would see together very naturally, and there's always a twist. There's always one twist color in each palette. The Prada Beauty eyeshadow palettes are refillable, so you can simply buy the eyeshadows and pop them into the compact. So this is what the palette looks like here. So on one side we have like the classic colors and then the twist here. So the black one here is like the super ultra matte. I think that's literally what it's described as. We have a satin finish and then this is the high shine metallic. And then the twist color is actually like a soft matte. It's matte, but not quite as hyper matte as this one here. And for me, what made me purchase the palette is I liked the harmony of the classic smoky. However, this color here gives a gray, a taupe, a slate, a purple shift. It's quite intriguing. And I love this high shine metallic frosted color. I think it's so pretty. And I did use this recently, all four colors in a video with Prada Beauty. And I have to say the twist color is surprisingly not as jarring. Like at first you think, oof, yellow, like how is that going to look? But I used the yellow on the inner corner with the rest of the, co the, rest of the colors on the eye. And it actually works well together. It's I, I know it's weird. It's not as jarring as you're going to think it's going to be. So yeah, I was very pleasantly surprised. However, I, I wouldn't think that this is like the most user-friendly, like it is, but I could see a lot of people purchasing this palette and simply avoiding the twist color. And listen, that's your prerogative. When you buy a palette, you do not need to use all the colors at once, but I could see some people buying it and just <laughs> sticking to the classic colors or avoiding it altogether because you don't know what to do with that twist shade. I say just use it on the bottom lashes or in the inner corner as a pop of something funky. That's really what it, what it is. That's why it's there. The rest of the Prada Beauty palettes all have that twist, whether it's a purple, a green, a blue, 
or a red they, they all have that sort of thing going on so moving on to another palette that's sort of similar well like a distant cousin of this Prada funky palette here is the uh, Guerlain Ombre G. This is 879 Glittery Tiger and this is part of their holiday release for this year. I think the collection is called Animal Fantasy. So this is the palette and obviously it's not the same color story as Prada but it is a more eclectic fun palette but this one here I think that it is easier to use. I think the color story is maybe more obvious to a lot of people, but you know, it's still that sort of fun, funky, eccentric uh, color palette. This one here from Guerlain is limited edition for the holiday release. And here in the quad, we have one matte that is the purpley plum color. The rest are beautiful satin finishes. This yellow is more golden, it's more shimmery, it's not quite as like. It doesn't have as much green or as much brass as the Prada color. And this palette is very pretty. I've done a video recently where I used all four. It really is a very fun holiday palette, like really all out, all out there, full glam. I did a couple of videos, like a couple looks, just using two colors. You don't have to mix all of them together, but if you do, oh, it's so pretty. And you get three beautiful satin finishes. They're very, very buttery, very easy to apply. And, you know, I would say that the Prada and the Guerlain are a little bit more challenging in trying to create color stories, but I think Guerlain is more straightforward in figuring out what colors go together. It's just a bit more basic in a good way. I, I feel like we need to reclaim that word basic. You know, some things that are basic, they work for a reason. And I love this Guerlain holiday palette. I love that it's outside the box. You know, I love a beautiful smoky eye, but some brands come out with a smoky eye every single year for every single holiday release. Whereas Guerlain said, you want color? We're going to give you color. And it's fun. It's creative. It's beautiful. It's like, it's just really fun. And I really appreciate that. So I really love this Guerlain palette here. All right, moving on to Chanel. Speaking of, you know, beautiful smoky eyes. This year, they have dug up the five shadow palette. Chanel used to do a five shadow palette every year for the holiday release for several years, and then they stopped, but they've come back this year, and it's it's back. This is the Lumia Graphic, so graphic lights, and it's inspired by the Roaring Twenties, so the embossing is um, looks like sequins on a flapper gown. So a lot of the marketing that I've seen for this has been very graphic, like very, um, stri not strategic, but yeah, very graphic cat eye, like really almost like geometric shaped. And so it I'm getting inspiration from the name Lumia Graphic, so graphic light. So lots of strategic liner, lots of shadow and light play that sort of thing so that's what we see here with this palette and i have to say they did not necessarily reinvent the wheel with this color story here we have the five shadow palette here you can see these all look like a smoky eye palette you know we have the super dark we have the beautiful gray we have some light champagne colors and i love this color here the texture almost looks like a topper shade it's more flaky if that makes sense you know it's not like a smooth buttery satin finish but I love the blue white notes in this it's very winter very festive very frosted I think it's very pretty however this palette here does not have a single matte in it so if you buy this you, well the, I guess the very dark black is sort of matte but it has a little bit of reflection in it but basically there's no like crease colors things like that so you can use it on its own it will be shimmery and satiny and beautiful and very luminous on the eyes but if you have some matte colors at home it could be useful as well just to create different looks and more everyday looks if you wanted to just do like a little matte in the corner and a little bit of shimmer color in here because the colors are very luminous, very satiny, very shimmery, very holiday, very disco ball, New Year's, that's the vibe. 
I'm very happy to see a five shadow palette from the brand and also see zero red eye shadow from the brand. So even though they did not reinvent anything here, I think it is very beautiful. It's very classic. I think this is very user friendly, even though there are no mattes in the color. I think a lot of the classic mature client buying makeup here could see themselves and could recognize themselves with this color story and know what to do with it more so than like Prada Beauty maybe. All right last but not least is what I'm wearing on the eyes today. I'm wearing you know all four colors of this palette and this is from Clé de Peau. So this is part of the permanent release. I didn't get anything from the holiday release yet. I'm not sure if I will to be honest. This one here is number five Coral Reef. So when you buy the, uh, the shadows you have the pan and they pop in and out and so this is what Coral Reef looks like. And I have to say, when I saw this in store, I went in person and they only had the selling items. They didn't have any testers. And the salesperson told me, you should get this one here. And I was like, really? Like, it looks fine, but it says coral. I don't want coral on my eyes. No, listen, this coral reef palette is absolutely stunning. Okay, so here we are all the way down here. So what's interesting is this color here is actually the primer so you put this all over the lid and then you go into the rest of the colors there is this color up here this light color that kind of looks like a rosy brown this one is matte and the other two are more shimmery but it's very much like a beautiful classic mature satin finish i think it's more satin than shimmer don't be scared by glitter there's no chunky glitter it's just beautiful and luminous and i have to say that the dark brown in here it really can be quite dark like this this is what i'm wearing in the crease here so what i did is i used this primer color all over the lid i then went into this color with a big fluffy brush in the crease i used this in the outer corner and then i took a little bit of this inside here very easy this i think is the most user friendly i think this is the easiest to use the easiest color story the quality of the shadows is so buttery it just glides on it blends easily it blends together very nicely like everything just melts together this looks it looks fine in the palette like it doesn't look as enthralling let's say as guerlain or prada but wearing it on the eyes it always looks so beautiful it looks so elegant put together classic classy i think that the clé de peau coral reef is my favorite so far that i've purchased in the past few months because it's just so easy to use you know it's really a no-brainer uh, i actually packed it with me when i went on vacation in the uk it's the only eyeshadow i packed because i just wanted something really easy in the morning and I could go by muscle memory and just apply something and like, boom, be done. It's very pretty, very light. If you wanted something even lighter, you could just go into, I don't even know if I swatched it in the right area, but you could just do the lighter colors here. Like the primer shade on its own looks very luminous. So you could just do that with a bit of liner and tons of mascara. It's very, very pretty. I have another palette from Clé de Peau that Clé de Peau sent to me themselves. I'll show it to you. I like it, but I prefer the one that I picked up, to be honest. It's this one here. It has a little bit of purple to it. Um, let me just pop it out of the case here. Hold on. Number nine, pink coral shells. Very pretty, very soft as well. But I think for me, I'm a bit more into neutrals every day than pinks and purples. It's very pretty. That's this one here. But I think I would have almost picked this up more for springtime. I think it's very nice. And it definitely does make my brown eyes look lovely. But this one here, it's a no-brainer, very easy, basic, but in the best way. You know what else is basic? Warm bread with butter. That's amazing. So yeah, this is my little roundup here of recent 
eyeshadow palettes that I've picked up. I hope you enjoy this type of content. You know, sometimes it's nice to just do something shorter and smaller and just like do a quick roundup, recap, review. I think it's helpful for you guys at home as well just to sort of see things compared side by side here. Anyway, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for stopping by. And for those of you who are American, I hope you enjoyed your Thanksgiving feast last weekend. Here in Canada, we celebrate Thanksgiving in October. And But I know that a lot of you who watch me are in the US. And if you celebrate Thanksgiving, if you don't, I hope you enjoyed some time off. I hope you enjoyed some delicious food. I keep going on social media and people posting their stuffing and everything. And I'm like, maybe I want stuffing again very soon. Anyway, hope you have a beautiful day. Thank you for stopping by and I'll see you next time. Bye.